What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get rid of pixelation. Now this will be actually more noticeable on gameplay footage because it's like really fast motion and everything. So this is going to change your resolution from 1080p to 1440p. We're not going to render in like 4k or something like that but just like getting rid of pixelations you'll actually get to see VP09 and that basically means means that your video is coded in a different way on YouTube that you will actually get rid of more pixelation. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as always. And I would say let's get this video started right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17 and I have basically a soundscape trailer right here. And what we're gonna do is adjust a few settings. So first of all, to make our gameplay or any footage that you have basically as smooth as possible, we're gonna right click on the footage. We're gonna hit properties at the bottom. And we're gonna make sure that we will disable the resample so we don't have any like any motion blur or anything similar going on like that. But you can also uncheck the maintain aspect ratio. Then we're gonna click on okay and let's say that we have a finished video right here and it's ready for export we're going to select everything in our timeline then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to hit render as and here it gets a little interesting so usually you would pick sony avc slash mvc your 1080p or 60 fps template whatever format you use but for this one we're going to use the magix avc slash aac mp4 then we're going to pick the internet HD 1080p 60 FPS and we're going to hit customize template. Now right here you want to fill in a couple different things. So the frame size right now is 1080, 1920 by 1080. We're going to put that one to custom frame size and the width is going to be 2560 and the height is going to be 1440. Profile is going to stay on main and the frame rate is going to be 60 FPS but you can put this one to 30 FPS, 50 FPS, 60 FPS, it basically depends on what you like. Like. And right here, it also it's very important that you will put the maximum BPS to 50 million and the average BPS to 24 million. We're going to keep the number of slices on four. the encode mode, main concept, AVC. We're going to go to the audio tab and we're going to make sure that we'll put the bit rate to 320,000. And we're going to go to project and we're going to pick the video rendering quality to best now this is basically everything you need to know and then you're good to go in when it comes to render settings so then we obviously need to give this template a name because we don't want to do this all over again every time we render so let's say that we're going to just call this 1440p render settings and then we're going to hit this diskette icon right here so it's saving our preset now we're going to hit okay and now as you can see it is actually listed in our list right here so now if we're going to render this video out it might take a little longer because the quality Quality is obviously higher and if we go to youtube.com and we're gonna go to a video that's rendered in this format this is basically a channel of a friend of mine I'll leave the link down below and if you go ahead and click on the if you right click on the video actually and you hit stats for nerds right here it says the codec is VP09 instead of if you go to a regular video for example this one from seven months ago this one is not rendered in 1440p and that's why this codec is AVC1 now, I want to tell you guys that it might take a little longer for this quality to process on YouTube. So the thing is that when you publish your video on YouTube, like I've mentioned, it might take up to 30 minutes to an hour for the quality to be fully visible. Because if we go back, as you can see right here, if we go to that quality wheel, we can actually put this one to 1440p, 60 FPS, and the difference is actually quite high. So let me play back this clip right here in regular 1080p, 60 FPS, as you can see right now. So this is 1080p, 60 FPS. And then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put it one to 1440p, 60 FPS. The quality gets way better and it doesn't have that much pixelation going on. So this is actually pretty effective, especially for gaming videos, because if you can also use this on regular content, but it's just way more visible on gaming footage. Because as you can see right now, this game put footage has a lot of motion. It has a lot of things to process. And if you have the right render settings, you will actually get the maximum out of your quality because it would be a waste if you have like a $200 
$1,000 graphics card and you're not getting the optimal performance and render settings and quality out of that capture card. So it's pretty straightforward, guys. Just follow these settings and you will be able to have less pixelation and that's how simple it is. So guys, that's how to do it. This is how to render your videos in 4040p and get rid of the pixelation. So if you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a thumbs up down below. And I'll see you guys obviously in a brand new video, of course, on Friday. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon.